<clears throat> Yesterday we saw a Mishnah that uh, a man had children. He left three children. He left boys. He left girls. He left a tumtum. So we said when there's Nechasim on Rubim and the Zacharim, they push him to the Nekevois. And Smashma, they would get like the Nekevois, Mizainis. There's Mam with Nechasim Muat, and the Nekevois push him to the Zacharim. And it said, if a guy says, if you give a, if my wife has a Zacha has X amount, the cave X amount, then you get nothing. Mm -hmm. So here's the Shila, guys. Here's the Shila. How do you view a tumtum? Now, let's get androgynous off the table. Androgynous is out of the picture. But androgynous stays in androgynous. It, it is what it is. In halacha, a tumtum we view as a suffix. You don't know what it is. It's one or the other, but we don't know. Or I can view it, since we don't know, we view it as a berry of the yatsma. In other words, we don't view it as a zakha and a keva. There's two ways to view. So if I view it as a zakha, a suffix, then the chora, it should be mimon of shach entitled to either part of the Yerusha if it's a zakha, or part of the Mizainis if it's in the keva, mimon of shach. If you view it as a berry of the yatsma, then nothing. Okay, so that's the discussion in the first part of the dot. Says the <coughs> says the Gemara, Doichin Oisai, right? The, this is what, this man when it's Merubim. This is man where they have a lot. We're on Kuf Mem, uh, the Kuf Mem Amid Beis, Beis the Gemara, Kuf Mem Amid Beis the Gemara. So now, if the, if there's Nechasim Merubim, the males push them to the females. Doichin Oisai Vishakol Kibas, and they'll get Mezaynis. Good. That's the ratio. Hakatani Seifa. We said the Seifa, the guy said, if my wife has a Zachar X, the Keva X, and the old and Tum 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 ain't a Naito. Naito Tum Tum, you don't get anything. So this seems to be contradictory. By saying you get like in a Keva, you're saying it's a Suffolk. By saying you don't get anything at all, you're saying it's a Berry of Neatzmo. He said, how do you reconcile the difference? Says the Gemara, Amra Baya, Doichin Aisai, the Ainloi. Not like you thought. It's not like you thought where you push it, the male, to the female and you get, you don't get anything. In other words, it's a barrier of the atzmoy. It's not a suffix, guys. It's not a suffix. It's a barrier of the atzmoy and you don't get period. So you didn't interpret the ratio correctly. The, it's not, they can't, to the zacha, I want to get a piece of the action. The doich did in the keva and they get nothing. Why? Because it's a barrier of the atzmoy. It's not considered what a zacha in the keva. The rava, I mean, no. Doich in oisoy, v'yeshloy. Says rava, it's a suffix. Says Rav, it's a suffix, zach, zach, and keva. Memar shach, so you get what? The least amount, you get mezoinus. Now, I, the Sefer, said, if the woman gives birth to a tumtum, it's not, that you don't get anything. Mashmitz, a berry, if they atzmai. On that, asam, Rav Shemim Gamliel. That goes according to Rav Shemim Gamliel. In other words, I hold in the ratio, you do get, because it's a suffix. <laughs> that in the Sefer that says that a tumtum is neither, that goes according to Rav Shemim Gamliel. Who's of the opinion that a tumtumat? Okay, now here we're discussing, fellas, the Indian kachim. If a person says his animal is is uberes, and he, he says if it's a zacher, it's an oila. If it's a shlomim, it's an akeva. What happens if it's a tumtum? Okay, let's see. Says the Gemara. The time it's not. It's a mishnah tumur. Yolda tumtum. If the animals again, he said. The, I'm filling the information. If it's a male, it's going to be an oila. If it's a female, it's going to be a shlomim. Yelda tumtum, the androgynous, if it gives birth to a tumtum or an androgynous, the Vashim Gil Yalayma ain't Kedusha Chalalayim. There's no Kedusha at all. You know why? Because it's not a Zachar, not in the cave. It's no suffix. So see, therefore, Rav Shim Gil holds by tumtum is why the bury of the Atzmai, who are din the Indian Yerusha, who are the Indian giving giving something over, it's considered a bury of the Atzmai, and therefore, but so we have Machloik as a bay of Rava. Right? It, it, is it a suffix or a barrier? The atzmai. Abai is saying what? Well, it's a suffix, and therefore you would get chalapachas. You get like a, a female, and according to Abai, no, by it's it's nothing. You get nothing, and therefore the Mishnah is consistent. The Rish and the Sefer, whereas Rav is forced to say the Sefer that says it's a barrier. But the atzmai comes according to the Tana of Shimon ben Gamliel. Meisive, we can ask a question Abai. Tumtum Yoirish. Kiben, Veniza in Kibas. A tumtum inherits like a ben and gets sustained like a bas. Bishlema Lirava, 
Yerush Kiben Bin Chasim Muatim. In other words, whatever's left over after the girls get the Mazinus, he'll get a piece of the action. Bin Zinus Kibas Bin Chasim Merubim. And when there's the Chasim Merubim, then they'll get like a female, they'll get Mazinus, right? So it's mashma, they are a suffix. You're getting something, it's a suffix. It's not a berry of Bifne Atzmai. El Abaya, according to Abaya, my Nizan, Kibas, Lechayra, you should get nothing. Guys, what did Abaya say in the Reisha? What did Abaya say in the Reisha? Doichin Oisai, and what does that mean? You get nothing. So how over here can you say, in a Tanoic statement in a Brisa, Kiben, Kibas, Nizayin Ois, Kasha on Abaya. So El Abaya, my Nizan Kibas. What do you mean, Nizan Kibas? Well, Ula Taimech, Lerova, my Yorish Kiben, Nechasim Muatim, they're not Yorshim. Guys, Yorshim Kiben, where's the Yerusha? If Nechasim Muatim, what do the Ben get? They, they get whatever's left over, they get pitch of kids, and they go door to door. So obviously, Rava also you have a problem with. Well, Ella, what do you have to say? Yeah, Ella, royally Yorish, the Ainloi. You have to say he's royally Yorish, but he doesn't get because it's the Chasim Muatim, and when the Chasim Muatim, you don't get, you don't get. So it's Hachanami Roy Lazun. It's Roy for them to get. However, the Ain Loi, of course, it's a barrier Bifne Atzmai, and therefore Abaya has held serve. So the Machlok is Abaya for Rava. Harlem Pshat in the Mishnah, you were attacked about Rava. It doesn't mean that Mamish getting the Roy to get, but they don't get. Okay, very good. Now, it the Mishnah said, what's the case in the Mishnah? A guy said, if my, look back at the Mishnah, in the middle of the Mishnah, four lines down, take a mana, he gets a, he gets a hundred. Yolda zacha, yit al mana. Nekeva, Messiah, yolda nekeva, nightly Messiah. Good. So it, it seems to what the we're favoring having a daughter over a son. We're favoring having a daughter over a son because the daughter's getting 200, whereas the, whereas the son is only getting a hundred. You mean to tell me that it's other for a, a, a man to have a daughter? Anyone who does not leave a, a male to Yerusha, because Baruch was angry, because you know why? Because he only has girls, the, the Shevet is going to go to another another Chalik. I don't understand this so well. I mean, the guy got married to try to have kids. I, I'm, I, does it mean that a Kaddish Baruch Hu, a Kaddish Baruch Hu didn't give him a son, so it's it's signed that a Kaddish Baruch Hu is not happy with him? Or Pshad is maybe he wasn't icy prepared for Rivia? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he didn't follow what he's supposed to do. Oh, you, I, I, I wish it would be so easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. According, no, according, according to you, it makes little sense. If you could influence the gender of a child and he didn't do it, okay, it makes a little sense. That that would make a little sense if it's if it's possible. If, if it's like my son had five girls and he was making he had all these kinds of weird heebie jeebie stuff. He had he had two boys, but the, but the, the, what? He had five daughters also. You changed it that time. But you had the son in the middle. He had five boy girls in a row. He he told me he was running a seminary. <laughs> so, sorry 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 to bring that up. <laughs> no, no, no. We have we we understand each other. <laughs> anyway, so very geschmack. So lechayra, we see that what it's it's much better to have a boy than a girl. Now, how do you know Kaddish Baruch is unhappy? It says Vavartim es nachla lebitoi, and the nachla is going to be pierce over lebitoi, and the lashon of of avarta is a lashon of anger. The ein avara ella avara is lashon of like henim. Shnemar yom ever yom ahu. So the Gemara answers, we have a kasha. Lechayr, you see that why it's better to have a girl than a boy. It says Gemara, Lein Yerusha Ben Adif. You're right. Lein Yerusha Ben is be- is better. You know why? Because the Ben is going to go ahead and and, <clears throat> and stay within the system. It's going to stay within your mishpacha. Ben Adif late. Leinian Harvacha. However, regarding support, now who is it more apt to make parnasa, the girl or the boy? The boy. So obviously, then when it comes to support and giving over, who are you can give more to? The girl, and therefore she gave 200. So in other words, the fact that you're giving more money for the girl is not indicative of that you prefer the girl. It's a practical thing, right? That girls, yeah, it's not, not in the old days for sure, they didn't have equal rights as, as equal opportunities. With the breadwinner. Yeah, but 
there's no issue there. You see, so you're not comparing the rich and the poor. Your son has sons, right? All right. No, you, you, your son and daughter, you have to you have no, your, 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 your We don't pass like that. We pass you have a boy and a girl, you're in the mitzvah. You don't have to think about the next generation. That's a hard. <laughs> Listen, it's not it, right. Well, according to you, you can. No, not the son. Not <laughs> anyway, the son. says the son's son, is, I don't know what that is. Anyway, so in the Yenavacha, Bita Adifa Light. Now, so this is one terrace to the Kasha. Another terrace. This, this is a fascinating terrace. So Shmuel Amar. We're dealing with what? With a woman who never gave birth. She never gave birth. Now, if you never gave birth, what would you rather have? A son or... or, or, or no, not, we're, not speaking Syri- we're not speaking the Syrians, okay? <laughs> let's, forget, let's forget that, right? What would you rather have? A Bukhar or a daughter, right? What would you rather have a Bukhar or a daughter? So, Bukhar, you say you'd have a son. It says, If you have a Bas Chila... Then Simiyafal Abanim. Now, why is that better? So I sent out two things today. I sent out a smaller, not that. I sent out uh, a Marsha. I sent out a Marsha today. Um, this is it. You see that it says, uh, Kenny, Daf Kuf Mem Aleph, it says? Okay, good. So here's the Marsha, guys. This is, this is the Marsha on this. If you have it on your phones. This, I sent out two things. One's upside down, which you're going to have to lock your phone or invert. And the other ones is Marsha. So listen to this Marsha when you have you have it. Bas tchila simin yafel lebanim. The ikad the army dle sholte eina. It does say that what that ikad the army the marbe la 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 achsa. So they're gonna they help raise the kid. And others say that what that ayin horish should not be shaylet. V'yesh leimar the linyan bechayr kamar. We're speaking about linyan bechayr. Kishetiyah bas tchila when the daughter comes first la yeh bechayr. Right? In other words, the, she does, the boys are not going to be upset. Why? Because there's no, there's no money, monetary problems. If you have a Bukhar, what's he getting? Pishnayim. What do you think makes the other kids in the family feel like? Uh-uh. You know, it comes to guilt. You know what? You know, right? If you have a daughter first, then what? There's no Bukhar. So, why is it Lebanim? Why is it Lebanim? There won't be much like this in the moment. Don't be the moment. When you have a Ben first, it takes away from the Chelik of the Abyss. And also, when you have, you know, Kisha, Ye, Kisha, Ye, a Ben Chila, when I be Shnayim, I can listen by Ayin Hara. Oh, you have a Bachar, a Pidyan Aben, right? You have a Bachar, but Ayin Hara, but Gamach Miskanaloi, and they go ahead and they cause, they have, um, they have a uh, Kina, and therefore what? That's why Bastila Simin Yafal Abanim according to Masha. So according to Masha, Bastila Simin Yafal Abanim. What's this Bastila Simin Yafal Abanim? Is that there won't be any machloikis. It'll be totally what momentous will be taken care of. No machloikis. There won't be any ayin har if you have you have bechor. He was spoken out. We had I spoke this out early in the Masechta. Uh, an inyan from my friend Hillel Ruvel. Hillel Ruvel is a very very a unique unique thinker. So I was going back, we're going back almost 50 years. I said to him, Hillel, what's Pshat? So he goes, I'll tell you Pshat. He says, we had earlier in the Masechta that Nachshon married Elisheva, excuse me, Aaron married Elisheva, the what? Sister of Nachshon. It doesn't say the daughter of Aminadov. It says the sister of Nachshon. Why? Mm-hmm. Right? That Roiv Bonim Holchem Achari Achei Ein. Most sons go after what? The mother's brothers. So if you want to know what your children are going to be like, your sons are going to be like, you look at what? Look at, you're looking at mother's brothers, right? So now it's Kishmak. When it comes to Shaduchim, what does she know? They're going to look at what? Her brothers. So what's she going to do? She's going to put all the kaychas in to make sure they're good. So it's a very good simon for what? For the banim to come. Kishmak of Shad. Gishmak of Shat. You know, that's it's gonna happen that down the road it's gonna be very, very gishmak. So therefore, that's why Baskil Sim Yafalabanim, according to this. Very gishmak. Back in the Gemara. Dumb of Kista Baskil Sim Yafalabanim, Ikidiami de Marbi La Khos, you can help raise them, the Kidiami, Plus Shalta Bain Bisha. Um Rav Kista. Says of Kista. So now we have two Pshatim so far. The first Pshat is that Wad Lin Yerusha, it's better, but Lin Yan Havacha. A second Pshat is not that no. Daughters are taka better. You give more money, according to Shmuel. Of course, he goes like Rav Chista to have a, a bas is a simi yafel Okay, Om Rav Chista, 
And for me, my daughters are better. They're better than sons. They're better than sons. Let's see Rashbam. Why a daughter is better than sons? I'm Rav Chista. I'll go up a little bit. Lididi binas and liyadifali. Is the mefarshi lid Rav Chista the makeres that Rav Chista is speaking about where it didn't give birth yet. Kishmaitzin achaloshim medaber lididi ani muchakach near beinai shalein iskai mulei bonim. His kids didn't live. Rav Chista's sons didn't survive. Ki im benois like his daughters. Lakach mis avahoyu lebenois. He desired daughters. Shalein isyashli yafer daitos of Rav Chista. Says Rav Shpama echvashtein it. I don't understand the Dasar of Chista. He says he's not so not so good with this. Says Taisvis, go down to the bottom, guys. The, the second one that's why. Lididi bin son that ifalim bin ei perish per contras. Shleim is kaim abonim. His children didn't survive. The boys didn't survive. Vein nera says Taisvis. I don't agree with that. The harb abonim hoyuloi. Rav Chista had many sons. Kida Ashlchen Rav Nachman bar Rav Chista, Mar Yenuka Umar Kshisha bnei Rav Chista. Rav Hanan, Rav Chista, the Chain Rav Mori, Rav Pinchas, Bnei Rav Chista, by Guys we didn't even leave in the Zikin yet. And look, you see, he had a bunch of sons. Elanira Lari, guys, listen to this Kishmak Abshat. Here's your Yankel, here's great Torah. Yankel, here's your, 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 your here, write this down. This is going to be your Shevi Brachas Torah. Elanira Lari, the Lahaki Karmar, Binasa Difali. You know why daughters are better for me? Mibanai, the fish of Hoyu, has son of Gadali Hadar. His son, his son in laws, it's not the daughter, it's not good, forget it. His, his no. next son, ah, on the Mesh Hashem. His son in laws were Gadali Hadar. Who were the son in laws of Rav Kista? You might have heard of Rava, mm. right? Rava. And you might have heard of Rami Barchama, you might have heard of Ma'ukva Barchama. These are, you know, so therefore, you know, his daughters are better than son. His sons were, says Tysus, his sons were okay. But his son in laws, ah, so therefore, his daughters were better than sons. His schmack is anything. Geschmack is anything. Very geschmack. Okay. Viba Yaseima, there's another pshat. Why, why do you say daughters are better? Hamani Reb Yehudahi. Who is the Tana of, <clears throat> who's the Tana of our, our Mishnah, who says that you pay more for a daughter than a, a boy? It's, 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 it's the Tana Reb Yehuda. Right? Reb Yehuda. Hi, Reb Yehuda. Which Reb Yehuda are you talking about? Elam Reb Yehuda, the Bakol. If you can tell me Reb Yehuda of Bakol, the Tanya, Vashem Berech Zavram Makol, and Hashem blessed Avram with everything. What does that mean? He blessed him, but he never a daughter. Who is he going to marry off to? Avram was so raised by Shaduchim. He was li- the Canaanim were cursed. He, who was he going to marry his daughter off to? He had problems. The, it was slim pickings. Talk about shit crisis. There was no one there. There was no one. But Yehuda Oimer Shavais Loi Bas. But Yehuda disagrees with Meir. But Hashem Berech Zavram Bakol. He had a Bas. U Bakol Shma. And you know what the name was? Bakol. His name is Bakol. After uh, she had uh, Bakol, he had everything. Ema now. So therefore, Lechayr, what do you see? Be'reches Avram Bakol, and you'll say that what? That daughters are great. Because after all, Rabbi Yehuda said he did have a daughter. So ostensibly, we understand he's the one who says daughters are better. Now, from here, you don't hear daughters are better. You just hear they're good. You just hear you want to have a daughter. So Fred Gemara Kasha, Ema the Shaman, Leila Rabbi Yehuda, Barta Nami Lechaseva. Rahman al Avraham, that the merciful one of Baruch Hu did not go ahead and and take away, hold back a daughter. But the Adifus mi ben mi from this Rebbe Yehuda, you don't hear that what? That a daughter is better than a boy. All you hear is that Hashem gave him a girl. But you don't hear the girl's better. We need a raya that the girl's better and therefore you're getting more money. What? Question. That's Machlaikis. That's that's the Shiloh. Okay, we're going to see a Tysus in a second. Elaha ha Rabbi Yehuda, who is the Tana? It's the Tana's Rabbi Yehuda. Which Rabbi Yehuda? The, the Tanya. The Rabbi Yehuda of the following Brisa in Ksubis. <clears throat> mitzvah lozen es abonois. It's a mitzvah to go ahead and sustain the girls. The kavachayim lebanim, and kavachayim to, to sustain the boys. More importantly, the uh, the aski b'tayra, because the being guys to b'tayra and different Reb Meir. Rabbi Yehuda, I mean, this is what we need. Rabbi Yehuda says no. It's a mitzvah to provide for the boys. Why? The loy lit has long that they shouldn't be embarrassed going what? Door to door. They shouldn't have to be embarrassed. So you see clearly over here, 
to support the sons is a mitzvah. And Kal Vechaima, the daughter. So what do you see? That a daughter is even more than the son. This is the Rebbe Yehuda. So again, we have a few <laughs> answers to the kasha. What's the kasha? It's from Pierce and my Mishnah. You have, give birth to a boy, you get 100. Give birth to a girl, 200, right? So the you see the bat is better. The Gemara says, well, what, what's Pshat? One Pshat is the bat is not better. A line Yerusha, a, a Yerusha son is better. A line Yerusha, a Shmuel's Pshat, Haka, it's it, better to have a girl. Why? First. Not that girls are better, but having a girl, girl first is better. And therefore the mission was speaking about what? Someone who hadn't given birth yet. Someone who hadn't given birth yet. The first child is going to be a girl. So it's Bas Tchila Sim Yafel Abad, said Rav Kista. We spoke out a, a few different Pshat then. And now we have another shot. We have a shot that that the Tana is is Rebbe is Rebbe uh, Rebbe Yehuda, who says to go ahead and support the girls that they shouldn't be embarrassed. Have to go door to door is more important than the boys. And therefore, therefore what? But therefore he gave more money. Now, it says I've run out of daughter Bako guys. Let's see Tysus. Fascinating, fascinating Tysus. <clears throat> Bas Hayaloi Ubakol Shma. Bim Taimar says Taisvis. The Lama Loy is seal Yitzchak. Now, Lemanda Omar, the Perik Arba Misais Bezdin, Arba Misis Bezdin, the Ben Noyach Mutaba Chaisai. So, according to this, they had the same mother, right? The Chaira, the same mother. It was, a, it, was, it, was his, it was his daughter, it was his, it was maternal sister. So maternal sister as, as same as paternal. And nonetheless, if according to that, that you marry by Chaisa, so get, what did Avram do? He sent back to Padna Aram with Eliezer, which was with Allah Mises, right? But Chaira, he had the, in his house, he had the, the solution. Marry off Bakal to Yitzchak. After all, it's permitted, according to the Man Yama, if he had a, a halacha of, a, of, a, of Ben Noyach, it's permitted. So why couldn't he marry his sister? Good cash. The Shema Ketana Haisa. Well, the Haratza Adayin Lesiel Yitzchak. One second. So what? She was a Ketana. So she was a, she was a Ketana. And what? And therefore, you want to marry her off to what to Yitzchak? Uh, so the Velts Kasha is Rivka was what? Rivka was a Ketana. Rivka was also a Ketana, right? Okay, so I sent out something. Here the Kasha. Chara Taisa says, how could you marry off? It's what it's if she's a katana. One second, I thought Rivka was also a katana. Avram was informed by Yehuda this week's parsha at the end of the Akeda. He's informed about the birth of the soil. The whole reason it's not mentioned is the the birth of what of. Okay. Oh. No, I don't want this one. You see something here, guys? You see something? You do, Kenny? Yeah. Let me try to get a little bigger. Okay, you you have an inverted guys. Can, can you you can lock your phones and try to get it? Okay. Okay, let's go through this. Vayitzchak ben Abayim Shana. Pirish Rashi. Shenasa Yitzchak es Rivka kishahoyse b'ashal eshanim. The kasha the b'shali sifri masik. We conclude. There were three who lived the same, three people who lived the same amount of years. Kehos, the Rivka, Uben Azai. Vim Kain, Chaisa Rivka, Kuf Lamagim Shonim Kemagos. The Torah tells us the Kehos lived 133 years. So Rivka died at the age of 133. And if she was only what, three years old when she got married, Yitzchak, Timsa, you'll find Shechasa Mishnasayim. You're going to have a dying at 122. You're going to be missing 11 years. And here, he goes through the Cheshman. Let's go through the Cheshman. Ketzad. Bashalash not Nissa. She got married at three. We'll do the math. Ubas Esim Shalash Haisa Kishiolda. Yitzchak Ben Shish Mishana Beleda Saisam. If Yitzchak was 60, he got married at 40, correct? So therefore, that would make her what? 23. 23 years old. Then Cain. She was 23. And Yaakov was 63 at the time of the brachas that he got from Yitzchak. 63 and 23, 86. So he, she was 86 at the time of the brachas. 
Okay, the Pirish Rashi Beslev say that is there. The Yudal of Shonim Nitma be base Aver, and before he, he was fourteen years in Yeshiva Shem be Aver, eighty six and fourteen is a hundred. The Yesim Shana Shimesh be base Lavan, he worked twenty years in Lavan's house, right? That's one hundred and twenty. Ushtei Shonim Nishtar be Derech, and two years on the road. What does that give you? One twenty two. Uboi say Perech Nisbaser al Misas Imoi. In Pashas Vayishlach, the Pirish Rashi and the Pasig Gabe Alon Bachus is a Lushen Lushen Rabbim, the Voyer Minekas Rivka and Rivka. Rashi tells us so. We she's supposed to die at one hundred thirty three, but we only have a, a dying one hundred twenty two if she got married at three. Okay. Vim Kain Lehoisa Ki and Bas Kufchav Beishanim Lachain Nira says Taisvis Shahoya Rivka Bas Arba Asa Shanim. How old was she when she married Yitzchak? Fourteen. Memela Toisvis, who said that that what Bakal was a katana, holds Rivka was not a katana. Toisvis was she tossed guys. Toisvis holds why was fourteen years old. So this is a this is Bas the Kenyan Valley Toisvis over here. It's also it's a Toisvis in in the Yevamis, Daf Samech Aleph Amid Base. But this is more clear. He goes through the Cheshbon. Taisus there does not go through the Cheshbon exactly. Taisus doesn't go over there through, through the Cheshbon exactly. Why? Over here we have the Cheshbon. So Taisus, very geschmack, fellas. Taisus told she got married at 14. Therefore, you didn't marry Bako at, at the age of what? She was a Katana. You didn't get married. So Taisus, Lishi Tassai, Zayi Geshmak. What? Which one? Yeah, it's a it's you don't get it. It's 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 upside down. No, I only got one thing. First thing I have to get. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll you can look it up. Avi, it's the second second Bali Tyson and Pashas told us. It's, it's very easy. It's right. It's it's right in, in any Mikroes Gadoy list. Okay, but that ends the 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 fun part of the program. Right. Okay, back to the, back to the barn. <clears throat> okay. El Hadatanya. What? El Hadatanya. El is, is kind of funny. Hadatanya. Yolda Zacha. Now, this, what, what are you speaking about over here? That if a, if a woman gives birth to a male and an Zacha unakeva, if a woman gives birth to a Zacha and a Keva, a Zacha noital shisha dinarim and of, of gold. And the cave should take shtei dinarim. Okay, let's put it in different terms. Let's work in terms of a uh, ratio of 25 to 1. So 60 dinarim, 25 times 6 would be 150. 150 zoos. And the girl will get 50 zoos. So 200 zoos in total. And you're breaking it up. The male is getting 150 and the girl is getting 50. Bimai. What are we speaking about over here? What, where, how are we, what are we speaking about over here? Amr Avashi. Amisa is the Shmaitzer Kamei de Rav Kahana. And he explained it by Messiris, that the guy turned around his words and you're not sure what he means. For example, the Omar, before his wife gives birth right, to twins, he says, Zacha Tchila, if my wife gives birth to a male, Messiah Mesos. In other words, he doesn't anticipate, he's not anticipating twins, he's anticipating if my wife gives birth to a male, he's going to get 200. Nekeva, Achrav, like Klum. If he says, guys, if he gets, only mentions male, what does the girl get? Garnished, garnished. And if he says, my, if my wife gives birth to in the cave of first, the, and, and a mana, and the zach afterwards again a mana. So, guys, let's go to the case. First case, zach gets 200. If it's a girl, zippo. Girl 100, boy 100. So, my man of shach, what's the boy getting? 100. Yesh bacham asayim mana. He's zach getting 100, correct? Uh, so, now, says the Gemara. Now, the older Zach in the cave, she has twins. She has a male and a female. We don't know which came out first. If the male came out first, he's getting to 200, right? But we don't know. So now we have a suffix. If it's a male, the breakdown, he should get everything. If it's a female, it should be 100, 100, right? So now, therefore, Zacha shakal mana mimanav shach. The Zacha takes 100 mimanav shach. Either Hundred as being, let's say it's it's a female that came out first. He he rightfully gets a hundred. Let's say he came out first, so he's losing a hundred. But he probably gets a hundred. Good. The idach mana and the other hundred is a mama and a So he gets fifty. So and she gets fifty. 
So now, 50. 150 versus 50, or 60 dinarim and 2 dinarim. Each thing is 25, so 2 dinarim are 50, and 16 is 150. That, that's, that's the cheshbin. Okay? That's the cheshbin. Now, Tanya, we learned, Yolda Zach Unakeva Einle Elamana, Hechim Mishkachasla. What do you have a case where they're both going to get 100? In our case, she either gets nothing or she gets 50, but she's not getting 100, right? Yeah, we know about it. That seems pudgy. I'm a Ravina, says Ravina, we're not speaking about where they're getting the money. We're speaking about the one who informs them is getting the money. Look at the bottom of Ashpam. He didn't make a, a, a tonight to give the male or the female anything. Only to the Mavasa, the one who informs him, that can refresh Vazla, as we're going to see as we go on, right? Get the money. But the Mavasa is going to get the money, right? Until now, it's the kid getting the money. Now he said, anyone who tells me, Tanya, here's the case. <clears throat> a person says to an Adam, whoever informs me whatever came out first from my wife, im zachar, if the person informs me it's a zachar, ye tell mana, he gets a mana. Yol de zachar, night tell mana. Im the keva, if the one who informs me is in the keva, mana, yol de the keva, night la mana. But now, yol de zachar in the keva, now, if you get twins, ain't la yel mana. He only gets a mana. Fred the Gemara for her. Zachar the cave of He shouldn't get anything. He he said either tell me male male female and female. But he tell me both. Why is he getting anything? Right. So im zachar in the cave of Nami says the Gemara. Zachar cave of Yamar says the Gemara. The Amar Nami he said im zachar in the cave of Nami he tell mana. Right. El lamute mai. So if you're telling me you're going to get a mana, guys, there's always getting a mana. What's this case coming to exclude? In other words, guys, here's what you said. Watch. Zacha, mana. Nekeva, mana. Zacha, nekeva, mana. In other words, either way, the guy's getting a mana, which is the scenario where the mavas is not getting anything. But now, we answered the kasha. You want to know the question where you're getting a mana for the girl, right? You want to know where you're getting a mana for the girl. And the mana of shach is get nothing or a, or what? Or, or a hundred. Where you getting? So the Gemara says, you know what the case is? It's not speaking about the girl getting anything. That case is speaking about what? The informant. Fred the Gemara the informant, you're telling me a Kiddush, that he's always getting a mana, so what case does it uh, exclude that you're not getting anything? There must be a case where you're not getting anything. He says, Gemara, I'll tell you what the case is. El Lamute is case of a nafo. If it's a stillborn, then that case, uh, it's a nafo, a miscarried child, in that case, you will not get anything. Ahu da'amal v'sayu, a chayla, said to wife to his, who is dying, he said to his wife, Nechasai lahai dima arbit. Right, nechasim should go to the one you're pregnant with. Now, can you be mizaka to an uber or not? This this is a lamb the gemara, guys. This is a new gemara. In other words, a davish labal oilam. It's worse than a davish labal oilam. It's not. Sometimes davish labal oilam. Something's in the world and doesn't come here. It's not even. It's not even a sakin. Right? Yeah. So therefore, what's going on? He wants to be mizaka this uber. So Amrav Huna have him mizaka the uber. In other words, clearly the Uber cannot be Kaina, but we know the concept of what? So you're able to be Zaycha for somebody, right? You're able to be Zaycha for somebody, yeah? So therefore, Lechaira, you should be able to be Zaycha. However, for a cut, you can't be Zaycha for a, for a, for a, you can't be Zaycha for what? For an Uber. You can't be Zaycha for an Uber. Eisver of Nachman Rav Huna, right? Ha'oimer, our Mishnah says, Im yol de ishti zachar yitol mana. If my wife gives birth to a zachar, let the zachar get a mana. Yol de zachar noitol mana. So you see why it's possible to be zachar for the uber. Right? Mishnah says, you're getting 100. Amalei, Rav Huna told Rav Nachman, Mishnah seinu in yedea mishana. I don't know, I don't agree with his opinion. I, mean, I don't agree with it. I don't agree if a person says that what, you should get 100, they should get 100. So now the, you disagree. I don't know this Mishnah. I, I don't know. I, I don't know this Mishnah. I don't agree. I don't right now. The Gemara is going to go ahead and try to find a case where what? Where what are you talking about? In other words, there are opinions that Lachayv you should be able to get. That, no, it's not. Don't don't do away with our Mishnah. There should be opinions that you should be able to get something. Says the Gemara. Why didn't Rav Huna say to Rav Nachman that our Mishnah was Rav Meir? Why didn't he say to Rav, to Rav Nachman that our Mishnah was Rav Meir? In other words, 
Not everyone holds that Eino the Maknas of Hashem Elohim. Rav Meir is of the opinion we met him in the third parak of in from Mitzi and Amafkin. Rav Meir is of the opinion of Adam could be Maknas of Hashem Elohim. So why didn't Rav Huna say to why when the answer our Mishnah is according to Rav Meir and I said not like Rav Meir. No, it's you you brought it Das Yachid. You're asking from the Mishnah. Yeah, it could be Zaycha. Maybe our Mishnah goes according to that, that opinion Yechidah of Rav Meir, and I disagree. Why didn't Rav Huna say that? No, rather than saying that our Mishnah he doesn't agree with it at all, meaning it doesn't exist, right? Then we have our Mishnah can be according to somebody, and he's, then, then Rav Huna will be substantiated. Aim with the Shamit Lay, the Rav Meir. When do we hear Rav Meir say a person could be mocked the Davish Oilam? The Davish Yesh Oilam. In other words, the makabal is in the world. The, you, you go ahead. The makabal is makabal the matana is in the world. The yeah. object may not be in the world, yeah, but the makabal is in the world. In other words, the gemir stas for a kenyan is there. You have the players. You have a noisain and a makabal. So what's felt? Felt that it's not in the world, but this guy is, there's a gemar das that it works. In other words, whenever it gets here, it's okay. What about an Uber? The Makabal's not in the world. So it's worse. So even Reb Meir would admit. So, so even Reb Meir would admit. According to Reb Meir, is it possible to be magnet as something that's not in the world? So therefore, you know why Reb Huna didn't say this to Reb Nachman from, from, that our Mishnah could be Reb Meir? Because Reb Meir would, would disagree with our Mishnah too. He would disagree with our Mishnah also. Because since the Uber is not in the world, it's no Makabal. But may would agree that what it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Let's say it's Rabbi Yosi. What Rabbi Yosi hold? Domar uba koina, right? Right. The tnan uba poisel es avde aviv hakoyen milechol betruma. Okay, here's the case, fellas. We know that if a woman gets married, she gets married. She's a Yisraelis, and she marries the koyen. She eats truma. She eats truma. An eved of a koyen eats truma. And ever of a kain each tuma, even the chamor of a kain each tuma. Rabbi Yosi is of the opinion that if, if the kain dies and he leaves his wife pregnant, that that child is a czar until he's born. He's a non kain. He's a non kain. Good. Now, this eved, right? This ob, we'll view this uber this as if he's Yorish the eved, and the eved does not eat tuma either. In other words, the Eved, as long as the child is pregnant, you're not going to go ahead and the Eved can't eat either. Why? It's the Uber's ownership. It's the Uber's ownership of the Eved, and since the Uber is a czar, a non kayin the Eved only eats Mahmas, the fact that he's owned by a kayin The kayin's dead. So who, who owns the Eved? The Uber. The Uber owns the Eved. So you see that the Uber's ownership of the Eved Stops right. him from eating truma. So what do you see? An Uber can be Irish. If Uber can be Irish, meaning he's a he's a player. So why didn't Rav Huna say our mission is Rav Yaisi, this mission in Yavamis? Right? Why did you say that? <clears throat> so why do you say that? Uber koiner did not Uber paisel. Uber passels the eved from eating vein and right, and he can't he can't feed his mother. His mother also can't eat until what he's born. Did Rav Yaisi? This is Rav Yaisi. Says Gemara, shiny Yerusha habame elaha, but Yerusha that comes automatically, that that's different. To go ahead, that the father is myrish to him, that you could do, but to mezaka nechasim from a far, far another person, you can't do. That you can't do. In other words, Yerusha has a, a, a stronger bond that he can be, you know, bekeva. You can even be myrish, right? So therefore, okay. So lay malay. Let us say it's it's Rabbi Yochanan ben Breika. He, let's say it's it's according to Rabbi Yochanan ben Breika, right? Why did Yochan and Breika say he said that a person can go ahead between his sons and be Mizaka? Guys, why did we say Rabbi Yochan and Breika? Why did he say? He said that if you have five sons, you can go ahead and give it to one as long as they're early Yarshite. What about if that son's an Uber? I would say also, right? So, so what do you see? That an Uber could be Kaina. But Lay Malay, why didn't Rav Huna say to Rav Nachman that what? That it's speaking about Rabbi, uh, Reb, uh, it's according to Rabbi Yochan and uh, Rabbi Yochanan and Breika says the Gemara. Im Amar im Almisha the Tnan we learned. The Amar Loishna Yush Loishna Matana the Tnan Rabbi Yochanan and Breika Oimer Im Amar Almisha Royal Yarshid Dor of Kayamim says Im Amid the Shamalei Rabbi Yochanan and Breika 
That's something that's wide in the world. Like, for example, a sun that's in the world. But Anub is not in the world. Miyama, does he say it? So let's, well, let's combine the two, the same parrots. For Malay, let Rafuna say Rav Nachman, that the mission is Rabbi Yechem and Breikahi, the Savalak Rabbi Yaisi, and he also like Rabbi Yaisi. So it's going, Miami the Savalak. You know, it's, no, it's, if you combine the two, it works. Rabbi Yaisi says the Uba can get me Yerusha, but Rabbi Yechem and Zaka, you can give it, right? And therefore, no. Who's to say it works? Okay, we'll, we'll stop over here. But you got the, the drift of what we're trying to do with Rav Huna. Why did Rav Huna inclined to say our Mishnah is not according to anybody where Gemara is grappling and trying to go ahead and figure out maybe it'd be according to 